So, now let us discuss merging of boson processes. Okay. Here the setting is as follows, you have two boson processes which are independent. Okay. You have a let us say a boson process of late lambda okay, which I will let which, call, which says a blue process and I have another boson process of rate mu which is a red process. If you do not have two colors, colors of pens you can just write crosses and dots or something like that. Okay. Since I am writing on a vacuum I can use different colors right. So, it is easier. Now, I said these two processes are independent what does that really mean? These two are boson processes one is a lambda process one is a mu process meaning that the for the blue process the inter arrival times are iid exponential parameter lambda for the mu process the inter arrival times are iid exponential parameter mu right. Now, these two processes are independent meaning that if you look at the sequence of the random variables of uh, inter arrival times or arrival epochs in the blue process they are independent of the sequence of arrival times or epochs or you know n 1 t or n 2 t of uh, so, let us call this of the other process. Okay. So, let us call this n 1 t this is this counting process is n 1 t this counting process is n 2 t. Merging means I want to merge the two right. So, I want to look at this is uh, time starts at 0 of course. Okay, I want to merge. Okay, so but I'm going to be color blind. Okay, I cannot see any colors. Okay, so I will only see that there is a some arrival. <coughs> so this guy will come here, and this, you know, the you see what I mean, right? This guy will come here, this guy will come here, and so on. There will be an arrival here, right? You see what I mean, right? So, in the merged process there is an arrival at a particular time if there is an arrival in either of the processes. So, this is just the process. So, this will be the process n 1 t plus n 2 t. So, the question is so, let me so this this new process the merged process n of t is just n, n 1 t plus n 2 t. So, at, n, at any given time t uh, the total number of arrivals is the sum of the number of arrivals in the two processes. Now, his question was in the merged process how do you know that two uh, arrivals cannot uh, two arrivals occurring together has 0 probability that is what you have to prove right. Again you go back again this is a good question you go back to the delta view of the world. Okay what is the probability of having in a little delta slot what is the probability of having two or more arrivals in any given slot. See it has to be lambda delta plus little o delta times mu delta plus little o delta plus other little o delta terms which will become lambda mu delta squared already right which is little o delta which is like 0 right, very small. Okay. So, it is a good question I think you should probably do this as a homework right argue that in the merged process you cannot have two arrivals having two arrivals in a very small time slot has little delta probability. Okay. Now, that is already in some sense is already getting ahead of where I want to go. Okay. The remarkable thing is that the merged process n t is equal to n 1 t plus n 2 t is a boson process of rate 
lambda plus mu ok. This is a remarkable property right if you merge two independent boson processes of different rates the rates can be lambda and mu do not have to be equal ok they can one can have a much higher rate one can have a smaller rate all that is ok. Uh, if you have the merge process has a rate lambda plus mu and it is a Poisson process ok. If you add more processes the chances of being Poisson is No, no. So, if I merge two processes I am Poisson. So, if I merge uh, 14 processes of different rates I am still Poisson right I mean that follows right I do not have to because that if you merge a third process I can merge with n 1 plus n 2 which is already a Poisson process right. See the, pro the processes have to be independent that is all ok. <coughs> so, likewise you can argue that if you have some finite k number of Poisson processes which are independent of rates lambda 1 through lambda k you merge all of them you will get a Poisson process of rate lambda 1 plus lambda 2 to lambda k ok. So, No, this is the theorem I want to prove. No, for the previous problem, when, hmm. you, when you add, uh, merge two processes, <coughs> you only know that it is a counting process, but you do not know whether it is a Poisson process. No, no, this is a theorem I am claiming, I have not proved it. Yeah, you can use uh, it to claim that in uh, two, two occurrences of does not occur at the same time, probability 0, hmm. only if you have proved this theorem. No. So, the how do you prove this theorem is the question. Okay. So, there are you can use presumably you can use any of the three definitions right. See now all these definitions are equivalent, but you can, so you can use any one of them right. In this case perhaps the easiest one to use is the this delta Microsoft Microsoft view of the micro slots view of the world right. So, you can use uh, definition 3 proof uh, use definition 3 right which is the easiest way to prove this. So, basically you have a little delta time slot right So, let us say this is the delta time slot right and the this is like delta and this is the blue process and this is the red process ok. Now, what is the probability of having n tilde t t plus delta equal to 0 meaning that in this delta time interval there is no arrival in the merged process ok. <coughs> this is the probability this is the same as the event that the first arrival has no arri first process has no arrivals and the second process has no arrivals. Now, first process and second process are independent. So, you can multiply right. So, this will be the probability that n 1 tilde t t plus delta equal to 0 times probability that n tilde sorry n 2 tilde t t plus delta equal to 0 this is nothing but 1 minus lambda delta plus little o delta times 1 minus mu delta plus little o delta correct this is 1 minus <coughs> that is because I am using definition 3 right. So, if you just write this out what happens this becomes 1 minus you will get lambda plus mu delta plus you will get lambda mu delta squared and then lambda delta times little o delta mu delta times little o delta little o delta times little o delta all this can be yeah you can eat all of that into another little o delta term correct with me. This is uh, because of see we are I am looking at definition 3 which is this Microsoft view, uh, Microsoft slot view and uh, I am using the independence of the two processes. So, I can multiply probability of having no arrivals ok. Likewise, I can look at probability of n tilde t t comma d plus delta equal to 1 which means that you have to have 
exactly one arrival they should have one arrival from the first process and no arrival from the second process or no yeah none from the, the other way around right which you can write out lambda delta times 1 minus mu delta essentially plus mu delta times 1 minus lambda delta plus little o delta okay likewise you can so essentially similarly we can prove that probability that n till the t t plus delta same sort of an argument equal to 1 right uh, will you can prove is lambda plus mu delta plus little o delta similar sort of an argument okay and probability that n tilde t t plus delta is greater than or equal to 2 right you must have one arrival in the first process and one arrival in the second process right which has probability lambda mu delta squared essentially and plus they, they may be 0 2 or something like that which also has little or delta probability right. So, this you can again show this of probably little or delta I think this answers your question correct probably of having two or more arrivals in the composite merged process is little or delta ok. So, again to answer your question you do not need it right I have just proved it right. So, I have gotten the this uh, the, in this micro slots I have the right distribution and I need to prove that the merge process has no 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 the rate is coming out right lambda plus mu has already come out I have to prove that it still has SIP and IIP see I know that the individual processes have SIP and IIP right. So, I will SIP and <coughs> IIP for NT follows from the SIP and IIP of N 1 T and N 2 T. What, what do I mean? So, if I want to prove that in the merge process uh, increments in this merge process are independent right if you look at two different intervals I want to prove independence uh, it is true because the constituent processes have independence and you know, the two processes are themselves independent ok. 